It was very sad to realise that my dad was not going to see my own daughter. To spend time with him was so precious during those last few days. I didn't want the stories of my father to be lost before it was too late. Some of the tales would never make some blockbuster movie, but for our family, they are the most powerful stories that you could ever remember. That's a really funny writing. It is funny, These isn't drawings. it? Let me show you one of the pages. Hello, my name's Neil Coxon, and I'm talking to you from just outside Bath, where I live with my partner Helen and my daughter Mila. When my dad was 80, he was sadly diagnosed with terminal lung illness and the family came together and looked after him at home. It was during those times when we were trying to have conversations with him that we realised that many of his stories were going to be lost forever. I mocked up a book for him that was a series of questions that asked him things about his life. It brought tears to his eyes as well as mine because he felt how important it was to share things with me and was loving the fact that we'd asked him questions about his life. Probably the most powerful Christmas present I'd ever given him and two months later when I got it back it was the most powerful gift he'd ever given me. My dad was a great storyteller and he used to tell many amusing anecdotal stories, but he was never one to tell you how he felt. And some of the stories he's written in the book started to tell me what was going on inside him. It felt so important to me to help future generations know more about him. His name was on a family tree, but they wouldn't know the great character that made up the man that he was. One of the wonderful stories I learned was how my dad met my mum. It was at the Blackpool Tower Ballroom. He was dressed in his RAF outfit and he'd spotted her across the dance floor and he coolly moved across his words and asked her to dance. They went out to the dance floor and as they got there he said, oh, it's a bit busy up here, isn't it? Should we sit this one out? And I discovered in his book that to this day they never ever had that dance. He couldn't dance and he didn't want to tell her. Dad's passion was sport and football in particular and in Paynton he started the local club which was called Paynton United and it was made up in those days of my brother and my brother's school friends. They spent seven years going from Division 6 right up to Division 1 without losing a game which was quite impressive. But as he got older and was unable to run around so much he discovered the French sport of patonque, on, French mommy. ball. In memorial for him we have a little tournament of the family every year now and we play for a trophy and the whole family gets together on his birthday. When I got the book back from my dad, I read it, I showed it to family and close friends, and everyone said, that's a really interesting idea, what you've done there. But we then thought other people could have some help with this, and we mocked up two versions of a book. Suddenly they sold. People were really interested in the idea of helping their family and their friends and their parents capture their own stories and it gave me the confidence to leave the corporate world I was in and build a publishing business. I think if my dad was still here today, he'd be really proud of the business, but knowing what my dad was like, he'd never tell me. I learned so much from his book about what he kept inside him, and that book brought me so much closer to him. I just wish I'd done it 50 years before. Sadly, my daughter Mila never met my dad, and I've used the book regularly to talk to her about the sort of man he was. I wish he'd met her, he'd have liked her, and she'd have liked him. I'd like to wish you a happy Father's Day. Bye-bye. Many people now research their family tree using websites like Genes Reunited. And one of the lovely things about using Genes Reunited is that you can share the information you find out from the journals for other people to see and enjoy. Life matters. Pass it on. The whole family were Chelsea supporters. My dad saw the first ever game at Stamford Bridge. I find it hard to imagine what my childhood would have been like without Chelsea Football Club. We've always had this sort of long-running, long-standing joke. You look a bit alike, you have similar interests. You do the same sort of things and you say the same sort of things. Maybe you talk to check out your life. We may have something in common more than being friends. No, it would be just unbelievable.